Hi, Keshu here. Welcome. In previous video, we saw what are RDDs in Spark and how do we create regular RDDs. And of course, we also covered the actions being supported by regular RDDs. So in this video, I'm going to speak about paid RDDs and what are the different ways to create paid RDDs. And importantly, I'm going to cover the business scenarios where we can use paid RDDs with some action functions being supported by paid RDDs. I think it's going to be interesting. All right, let's get started. So what are paid RDDs? So the name itself says that paid RDDs are RDDs. Those will have key value pair structures. All right, so it's kind of dictionaries, but don't think this has dictionaries, but it's kind of dictionaries where we'll have key and respect to value to that key all right in the same way paid rdds also will have keys and respective values all right those are paid rdds in spark and we'll see what are different ways to create paid rdds so paid rdds can be created directly from regular rdds and of course even we can create with in memory collection that is directly with parallelize method all right if you know well ahead what are the keys and values those you're going to have and of course we can directly create paid rdds with parallelize method as well all right so these are very important business scenarios those i'm going to cover where we can use paid rdds so um, if you look at the file that is product sales text file uh, this file has got data like this and it has got three fields weekday product id sales all right and of course respect to rows in there and each row has got day name and then product id respect to sales amount same way tuesday product id sales amount this this document has got product sales by day all right so what exactly i wanted to achieve here is the first requirement by using paid rdds i wanted to find how many times each word has been repeated in this document so if you look at this i wanted to know how many times monday has repeated how many times the product one has got in this document and sales amount 200 i wanted to see how many times the 200 has repeated all right that is one business scenario especially uh, the pay RDD can be used if you want to find how many times each line of the document has repeated or how many times the specific word has repeated in the document so that is one business scenario and the second one that i'm gonna use pay RDD is for i wanted to find the total sales by product for example if you look at this uh, document again product one on monday some sales on tuesday some sales likewise i got product sales for every day so i wanted to sum total sales by product see i want to sum up the total sales of product one in the same way i wanted to see the total sales of product two same way product three all right that is second uh, requirement so where i'll be using paid rdd in the same way i wanted to count uh, the elements by key in the same way i wanted to count the elements by value all right so these are some important business scenarios those i'm gonna cover with paid rdds all right so and of course i'm gonna speak about a flat map and also map this difference already i covered in previous video but as uh, we are getting that scenario to see the difference between these two i'm going to cover that as well all right so if you look at flat map function what it does it works on every element of rdd all right it works on every element of rdd that we'll see with example and map it works on every row of rdd all right that is the basic difference between flat map and map we'll see in a few seconds with the difference all right so let's get started i already connected to 
my Databricks community edition. So I'm gonna just import the required methods. And this is the path where I already uploaded that product sales um, file. Uh, this is DBFS path in my Databricks. I'm gonna use same path and create one regular RDD first. From there we'll convert into pair RDD. So the first I'm gonna create regular RDD. I'm gonna create one regular RDD with text file method because I'm trying to create <clears throat> regular RDD from the external file. To create external file, of course, we use text file method that I covered in previous video as well. I'm gonna just say reg RDD equals to sc dot text file and the path going to be this. I'm gonna collect the data from this regular RDD and see how the data is. That's it, RDD will be created and we could even see the data in that RDD. All right, so this is regular RDD which has created. And one thing that I wanted to filter here is I don't want this the first row which has got field names so I wanted to filter that we'll see how we can filter all right so now what I'm gonna do so as my requirement is find each word in the document right so I want to just you know <clears throat> split each element uh, by comma so let me just split that first in the regular rdd itself i'm gonna just split equals to regular rdd dot i'm gonna split by using a uh, flat map first let me show you with flat map lambda x comma x dot split I'm gonna split at comma so now let me collect the data from this RDD all right so here it should be colon all right so we did split you know each element by i mean at comma okay so but still uh, we are getting the first row which has got field name i don't want that of course if you keep it also nothing will happen but i don't want that to be there so for that what i'm gonna do i'm gonna define uh, row one here or you can say that first row the first row would be the first row of my rdd so i'm gonna use first method so this will you know pick the first row and uh, let me show you and one more i wanted to show you the difference between flat map and map so same example if i use map see here how it looks and let's see the output see as I said, map will work at each row of RDD. So, uh, you know, it, it picked each row. Okay. But see, in case my requirement is to find uh, how many times the each line in the document is repeated, of course, I can directly go for map. But my requirement is I wanted to find how many times the each word, that means each element is repeated in my document. So that's where I'm going to go for flat map so that is the basic difference it works at row level it works at each element all right so let me just go back yeah so as i said i don't want the first row what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just define first row and filter out the first row so i'm gonna create one more rdd here rdd filter so Order to split 
dot filter before using filter let me check with map how it's going to be lambda x r y r a whatever you want to give of course up to you a then what i'm going to say a not equals to first row which we defined already so let me show you how it looks if i collect the data from this already it's gonna give true or false all right so if the condition is matching with this the expression that we provided and of course then it will just provide false rest all are true so this is not the qualified record rest all are qualified records all right so it will be filtered out when you use filter so in case of map what i'm going to use i'm going to use filter so i'm going to filter the data with this condition so let's see how it's going to be all right the first row is gone now what i'm going to do i'm going to convert this rdd into pair rdd let's see how we can do that so i'm going to use this rdd which has already filtered with first row let me just comment it i'm going to use map function here to convert into pair rdd so what i can do here lambda so what i'm going to do here is so i'm going to assign one for each word for each element i'm going to assign one for each element that means so it's going to be key value pair here the key would be the uh, element and there will be a value given as one okay let's see how it looks it should be converted into key value pair now so by using map function i'm just directly converting regular rdd into pair rdd let's see how it's going to be all right see this is key and value key and value so here in this case i assigned one for each key i'll let you know why i assigned one for each key now as per my first requirement i need to find how many times that each specific element has repeated how many times that element occurred in my document all right that is my requirement so so let me use some actions action functions being supported by pair rdds so there are a few other action functions but i'm gonna use these important action functions so reduce by key this reduce by key what it does is it's kind of it will group the data based on this specific key and group and it will just perform whatever the aggregation that we're gonna give in uh, reduce by key function all right so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just use reduce by key on this pair rdd let me just say pair rdd one and pair rdd dot reduce by key i can use one operator add operator directly and i can even get the value added for each key so it will just sum up the values here value is one it will sum up the value by each key and produce total okay let's see how it's going to be i'm gonna just say collect from here all right see uh, still there are few columns actually so what i can do is first row i'll define before the split so that let me just filter out the data before we split so it is going to be an rdd so now yep so this filter rdd we're gonna use for splitting and then this split rdd will convert into pair rdd and this pair rdd yes that's let me just have a look all right now we don't have those you know uh, product id and sales amount also yeah 
so we could see that count of monday is three that means monday is repeated thrice tuesday wednesday so likewise and this sales amount it has got only once um and we could see that yeah this sales amount this 300 has repeated twice so likewise you can find how many times each element has repeated by using pair oddities all right so instead of using add operator here what you can do is you can do in different way like um by using lambda function a comma b so i'm gonna just say a plus B so let's see how it's going to be see it has given same result so either you can perform any um, you know aggregation here or directly we can use the operators being supported by reduced reduced by key all right so how the that is the first requirement the second requirement is I wanted to find the total sales by product key all right see i'm going to use same program so let me just copy the cell value okay here what i'm going to do let me just comment for now so here i'm gonna use map function not flat map because i don't want each element i want only few fields uh, for my um, you know for my calculation so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just split let me just do collection again okay I don't want whole uh, row to be picked so what I need I'm gonna just split but I want only field 1 and field 3 let me say collect all right so I want only product ID and respective sales amount so that I can sum sales by each product and I can show what total sales by project product okay that's what my requirement is so what I'm gonna do I can directly you know um, perform this is also key value pair already so you can see that this is key and value so I can directly perform uh, reduce by key and do the sum okay so in case i wanted to directly go ahead and do that of course i can by using split rdd and reduce by and if i say a plus b let's see how it's going to be and here rdd is yeah it is created now i'm gonna just say collect all right done i'm just summing up the total sales by product ID by using reduce by function okay and of course I am collecting it so it's again uh, pair ID product ID and respect to sales amount product ID 2 respect to sales amount 3 respect to sales amount so likewise I can even uh, sum up total sales or tax or whatever the you know aggregated value I can sum up by grouping with each product ID I would say that each key all right so these are two business scenarios those I wanted to cover and of course uh, by using count uh, by key count by value of course you can count you know uh, each element by key and value as well so you can even still use count by value and count by key as well so I'm gonna just you know uh, change here itself in place of reduce by key what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use count by key so here I don't need to provide any of this directly I'm gonna execute so yeah one thing to remember when you use count by key your oddity will be converted into a dictionary when it is converted into a dictionary you can't use collect method on that you can you can use only print so i'm gonna just print the already that's one difference you need to uh, remember when you use collect it's going to be dictionary see here so there is a dictionary created and how many times this product 
ID 1 as repeated. So it's count of product ID 1, count of product ID 2, count of product ID 3. So we can even we can even use count by value, but before using count by value, if you look at this, it's not you know it's not proper pair RDD because we commented this line. So I want to convert first this into pair RDD to use count by value. So I want only the first field. Let me just convert that into pair RDD and count by value. See, Monday key is this and it has repeated thrice and same way Tuesday, Wednesday like this. So all right, so that is how you can use different action functions. So this is one way of creating pair RDD. The second way of creating pair RDD, as I said, direct with in-memory collection directly, that is by using parallelize method. So let me just uh, show you how do we create that. It's just straightforward way. Uh, See, so for example, I have already data defined as key value pair. So this can be done, you know, the data how what is going to be key and what is going to be value. If you know well ahead, of course, you can create pair RDD straight away by using parallelize method. So I'm going to just say pair RDD direct equals to sc dot parallelize. I'm going to just say data. All right. So let me just say collect of course this is pair RDD so directly on this pair RDD of course if I want to use uh, count by key let me see see so it has given count by key in the same way if I want to do count by value also and of course I can see count by value as well all right so it will just try to count um, each row by value so it has just only um, got only once so that's why it has given count as one so in the same way, if I want to perform directly, you know, reduce by key, of course, I can, if I want to sum up the total sales by each product. So reduce by key and I can use add operator. So it's been executed. Okay. I did not create the RDD here. It has been summed up, but I did not create RDD. I'm going to just say, RDD aggregate so this one I'm gonna correct now I could see data would have been summarized see product ID 2 it has got only 300 sales amount product ID 1 see this 2 got summed up 200 and 300 now it is showing 500 okay so likewise you can create pair RDDs with parallelize uh, method if you know ahead what are uh, the values and keys in your case and of course you can even convert regular RDD into pair RDDs like this and uh, these are important action functions those I shown you in this example reduce by key count by key count by value of course there are few other but these are uh, commonly used action functions on pair RDD and of course I also spoke about uh, flat map and map functions and the basic difference between those two all right I hope this is helpful thanks for watching my video we'll meet again with a different concept until then bye bye thank you